<clears throat> hey, uh, Wynn and I are gonna head back to my place, listen to the scanner, do a little superheroing if you want to come. I think I'm gonna take tonight off, if you don't mind. It's got some things I should think about. Look, I know I said I wouldn't do the interview, but I'll do it. I don't want you getting fired. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> you know, it's been like this for a while. Back when I first started, I was, I was this nervous kid with this camera just trying to get noticed. And then one day, everybody knew my name. And not because of anything I did, not really. Because I was friends with somebody who was making a difference. I don't know, I just, I thought I could escape all that when I moved here. Be my own man, you know? <laughs> Back on Krypton, no one was their own man. Growing up, I was taught that to accept help from people is not a shame, it's an honor. Your cousin never talks about Krypton. I mean, the baby when we left. But I remember it. All the time. <laughs> he ever tell you what that S means? The house of L. Yes, but it also stands for a Kryptonian phrase, our family motto. El Mayara. It means stronger together. You say people will see me the way they see Superman one day, but I don't want to be a hero like him. My cousin, he's so used to going it alone. He doesn't know any other way, but I do. I see it now. You, Wynn, my sister, Miss Grant even, you've all showed me that. James, part of being your own man is knowing when to accept help. Do you really want to do that interview? Yeah. First I was scared, but I'm not anymore. I want to do it. For me? For what we're trying to do here together. For us. Sorry. 